Welcome back to the kitchen class. I hope you had a lovely Easter and tried making the celebration cake. This week it's a savoury challenge. It's an adaptation of Donald Skeen's honey and garlic chicken. It's packed full of vegetables so it will provide lots of your five a day. It provides fibre as I'm serving it with whole grain rice and of course chicken which is a low fat high protein food. I'm sure you could adapt this for vegetarians by substituting the meat with corn or tofu. So let's get started then with the ingredients and equipment we need. This is also a really economical dish to make. It's packed full of vegetables which are very affordable and chicken also is quite an affordable protein food. So for this dish we need 60 grams of whole grain rice per person. We're going to use a packet of broccoli which usually has about 200 to 250 grams. Some uh, sugar snap peas about 200 250 some spring onions four or five some coriander as a garnish at the end and when i was preparing this i, I thought it all looked very green so i've adapted the recipe by introducing some orange pepper and some red pepper just to give it a bit of color and to also uh, increase the amount of vitamin c in it because all these other vegetables are all packed full of vitamin c in particular but introducing these bright colors introduces vitamin a also we need three tablespoons then of honey, we need three tablespoons of soy, and three tablespoons of, well, it's apple cider vinegar that no one uses, but I'm going to use uh, white wine vinegar, but I'm sure apple juice would work equally as good. Then we need about two chicken thighs per person, and they're really good value, and full of flavor, and full of nutrition, full of protein. And then we're also going to use four garlic cloves, which we're going to peel and grate in preparation for use. Now let's have a look at the equipment we need. Now we're going to start off with putting the rice on to cook because it takes about 25 minutes because it's whole grain rice. So it's always a good idea to start off boiling the kettle in preparation for that. The equipment you need in addition is a colander, a saucepan, and if you have a cast iron casserole dish like this, you can use it because it has a lid. If you don't, two frying pans, one on top of the other will work, or a frying pan with a upturned plate will also work. Now we're going to start off with putting the rice on to boil. So we're going to add the rice to our boiling water. And you can wait for that to come back up to the boil, and then you can put it on a gentle simmer for about 25 minutes. We're ready now to start cooking the chicken, so we're going to put some cooking oil in the casserole or in your pan, whatever you're using. And then we're going to place the chicken in, skin side down. up to a good sizzle. What we're looking for here is that we get a nice crisp coating on the outside of the chicken. So the temptation would be to keep turning these but we're not going to do that. We're going to wait until they get beautifully cooked on one side before they flip them over and cook them on the other side. So we're going to leave those there for about three or four minutes to continue cooking. Remember always after handling raw chicken you must wash your hands and any surface that the chicken has come into contact with. The knives, the chopping boards, uh, and you need to just wash your hands correctly. There is always the risk of salmonella being on the chicken and you don't want to carry that on to any other ingredients or any other surfaces in your kitchen. So we've combined the marinade ingredients together, the honey, the soy sauce, and the white wine vinegar or apple juice, if that's what you're going to use. I'm just going to pour that around. We're going to leave the chicken to cook until we're sure it's cooked through on the other side and has a nice golden brown colour and in the meantime we we'll continue with the preparation of the vegetables. To prepare the garlic then we just cut off the top and the bottom and just peel off the skin and then in this case we're just going to grate it and then we're going to add the grated garlic to the chicken in the pan. So take your grater and grate your garlic and you can do that over at the pan. So the chicken has been cooking at this stage for about 10 minutes and then you see the grated garlic in on top. So now we're just going to turn over the chicken and cook it on the other side. The 
Look at that beautiful colour and that golden brown colour and the flavour coming off this is just beautiful. So we're just going to turn these until the chicken cooks on the other side. And at this stage we are going to finish the prep of the vegetables and then they will be ready to be added. So the broccoli is really in serviceable pieces. You can cut it into smaller pieces if you like, depending on whether you're feeding children or not. So there's very little prep in that. In the scallions or the uh, onions, you just cut them at an angle. It's really just for appearance. So you can just cut those at a diagonal like that. And then it doesn't matter about uh, the size of these because they uh, they can be eaten raw or cooked, but you'd like to keep the texture the same. Then with the sugar snap peas, you can just cut off a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom. And again, depending on whether it's children or not, you can cut them again and make them look uh, pretty. Now, depending on what ingredients you can get your hands on at the moment, you could also use some fine French beans if you liked. And in addition, just to add a little bit more colour and to add some vitamin A, we're using an orange pepper and also a red pepper. So to prepare these small peppers, you can just take off the top, you can just cut down the centre, quarter them, and then you just take out the seeds or any fleshy parts that are inside, and then you can just cut those also at an angle just to make them look pretty and add some colour and some extra vitamins. And now these are all ready to add to the pan. Now we're going to add all the ready prepared vegetables, all those beautiful colours, add in all those vitamins and minerals and also we're going to add in the broccoli at this stage. And you can just mix all of that together this is when all the magic happens. We're going to put the lid on and we're really going to steam those vegetables to perfection. And all of this should be all perfectly cooked in about five minutes. So take a break and we'll be back in about five minutes. The rice now has been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just going to strain that into a colander, give it a shake to loosen up the grains. The vegetables and meat have been cooking there for the last five minutes with the lid on, so I'm sure they're beautifully cooked. What we're looking for here is that the vegetables are al dente, that they have a little bit of resistance and that we're retaining the nutrients. And this is the beautiful thing about a one pot dish, is that we can retain all the nutrients because we're not draining off any of the liquid. If at any point you feel that it's getting a bit dry, you can always add a bit of water, but uh, this looks perfectly succulent at the moment and there seems to be plenty of juice in there. So we're almost ready to serve up. This is our deliciously nutritious chicken with honey and garlic, but we've added an array of vegetables to it as well to just give it that um, nutritional additional content and it, I think the colours look absolutely beautiful. It's a very economical dish to make, it's high in protein, high in vitamins and you couldn't pick a nicer uh, dinner dish to have in the evening with your family. So have another go at this this week. Hope you're all still well and coping with lockdown but hopefully you're getting out to the shops and by cooking something really really lovely you'll learn new skills and you'll make your family very happy by presenting dinner to them. So see you all again next week.